hello, I'm Retro Jules, and welcome to World of Tanks, and welcome to my garage. This is my WZ-132, a tier 8 Chinese light tank, a very agile small tank with an excellent hull and turret traverse, armed with a nice big juicy cannon. Now I've reviewed this tank previously on one of my older style videos and I'm just coming to the end of play with this tank and I'm just about to unlock the tier 9 WZ120 which is where this tank then turns into a medium. I've really enjoyed playing this tank and thought that I would just do a proper review and show you a little bit of footage before I then go over to the WZ120. So I've already mentioned that this tank is very agile and that's due to its 56 degrees per second hull traverse which is exactly the same as the Walker Bulldog at tier 7 and you don't lose speed as you turn as a result and the turret traverse of 50 degrees per second is excellent for strafing targets. It also has an excellent gun dispersion especially if you use vertical stabilizers so it's actually quite good at shooting on the move and if you take that good gun dispersion the fast hull traverse the fast turret traverse you, you really are quite good at zipping around and circling your enemies and putting shots in but what you will need to be careful of is if that's your game style which of the cannons you choose I chose the 100 mil and that cannon has a penetration of 189 a damage of 250 and that is actually the American tier 8 mediums Pershing gun with an extra 10 damage so what you get with this light Chinese tier 8 tank is a tier 8 American medium cannon it's got a reload time of 7 seconds on the 100mm gun and an aim time of 2.2 seconds. Depending on your playstyle, you're going to choose between the 85mm or the 100mm. I went for the 100mm purely because you go up against tier 10 and that's got the best penetration and what's the point in firing lots of shots if they don't penetrate. Now the turret, you've got a rounded mushroom Russian style turret. It's very effective at deflecting shots. It's not actually an attribute that you can rely on, but it is very effective when you're on the move or when you're pulling back into cover and you'll be surprised how many shots will bounce off of your turret. I've really enjoyed playing this tank. It's got an excellent balance of agility, firepower and mobility. And with a 400 meter view range, it's a very effective scout too. Just be aware that the gun depression isn't great if you're shooting down at your enemy or if you're cresting hills. Now the equipment I've got on this tank pretty much standard for my scouts and I really should have changed it halfway through and I just never readdressed it. I played the whole tank through with a camo net, binoculars and coated optics and probably what I should have done was ditch the camo net and put vents on or vertical stabilizers just to help with my gun dispersion. Uh, the crew skills I've got on this tank are situational awareness, reconnaissance, camo, muffled shot, and I'm about to unlock a new one, and I'm either going to add six cents or repairs, and I haven't quite decided. And the biggest decision I'm going to make on the WZ120 at tier 9 when I unlock it is whether I transfer that very well-equipped crew into that tank, or whether I start afresh. And... The problem I've got is that I enjoyed the WZ-132 so much, I'm definitely keeping it. I've bought all the different types of camouflage for it, and I just don't know whether I want to go back to playing that with a new crew or keep the old crew in it. I just haven't decided. But that's a decision that only I can make. If you have any comments, they'd be most appreciated. And in the meantime, here's a little bit of footage of an effective scouting game in the 132. And here we are on Serene Coast. Now this isn't an amazing game by any stretch of the imagination. The, the tiers are split roughly into thirds, 8, 9 and 10. 
and I just wanted to show you this to show you the WZ in action as an effective scout and then coming back towards the end of the game as a support tank and in a very short space of time I managed to take out four tanks which I always think is pretty good in a light tank so priority first find a nice bush not too far forward I was thinking about going forward to that one there but realised that the rocks were probably going to block my line of sight so I went for this elevated bush instead put my camo net on and my binoculars hopefully stay invisible and now it's just a waiting game to see what we can spot So there's a light tank to our right, an American T-71. So we highlight him, and uh, we're just going to stay here. Then we spot a heavy and a medium, conquer and a T-62, and we're, we're quite strong. There's a, there's a good train of our guys going down that side of the map. So I'm pretty sure that the enemy tanks there are not going to be interested in me and they probably don't know I'm here anyway. So I choose to just push forward, see if there's any side shots and if there were I don't even know if I would have taken them because I can't really account for about three tank destroyers so I'm not going to take any chances because they could be camping at the back and there's one, a Death Star. We spotted him, highlighted him, he doesn't know we're here. Isn't showing any interest. And all oh, the T-71 is now coming in and he spotted me. And I don't want anybody else to get sight of me at all, so that's it. React to the map and I'm off. We've got a couple of mediums down there who are, who are going in for him. So I'm just working my way backwards. And there's a nice little vantage point here and I was just going to start aiming and helping them but they didn't need my help so that's their scout tank out of action the Death Star's still there so I'm staying on this side of the tracks the two mediums are going in for him so now it's Operation Arty Hunt there's still one tank destroyer which I'm not overly sure where it is. I can account for three but not four so it could be here but I decide that I'm going to circle around and see if I can find Arty. Could be around to the right here. No, nope, not looking that way so we go left. Where's Arty? Where are you? There you are with your back to me didn't see that coming did you and he's turning turning I need to reload reload come on oh he's turning on me and we take Artie out hurrah and that's our first kill and oh a pot shot comes from behind and that's their other scouting tank coming for me so I'm off I'm not interested in a one-on-one -on -one with that scout tank I'm gonna go back to where our guys are and this is where it all works out quite nicely, where we can pick off the targets. Some people might say it's stealing kills, but hey ho. So, we take out the Ag Tiger. I don't think it's stealing kills, I think it's being there, supporting your guys. You never know if they're in trouble. T62, tier 10, medium, and we take that one out. So we're on three kills in a very short space of time and there's a Conqueror on almost full health and he's just taken a shot. And they can be tough little buggers from the front actually so I'm hoping to go in behind. And here we go and if one shot isn't enough oh, should I be ramming a tier 9 tank and a tier 8 light tank? I don't know, but it worked. Lost all our artillery. And there's our four kills. So now we head back for the cap. And the majority of their team 
are heading for our cap. And I'm not eager to sort of dash across and defend our base, so I was going to take the long way around the coast, because it is the serene coast after all. So the STA looks like he's going to be capping, and I'm like, well actually, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, because we've got one of their heavies coming back, and the rest of their team are right outside our base. So I'm going to head off that way, and just in case it doesn't work out, we've got two of our guys capping. And now they've started capping. And you can see with this tank, it really is nice and mobile, with, with, with the gun that does enough damage, it took Arty out in two nice shots. I don't think the reload time is uncomfortable. The aim time seems okay. I just, I just, I just think this tank is really well balanced, and it's just, it's just a nice all-rounder. And I'm hoping the tier nine version is going to be just as pleasing. And we win by a cap. So there's just a little bit of gameplay footage of the WZ in action. So, yeah, not an amazing game. 25,000 silver, okay. 1,300 straight XP, that's pretty good. And let's just see how we did overall. We came second with our four kills.